What's up guys, Takio AK here. But before getting to the video, let me tell you one thing that this video is only for educational purpose. And through this video, I'm not going to like encourage any activities such as hacking or anything else. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the Wi-Fi hacking and the concepts regarding the Wi-Fi hacking. That is how the Wi-Fi hacking works and what are the different Wi-Fi securities and how we can actually hack the Wi-Fi password. So when we talk about the Wi-Fi hacking, that actually means that you are accessing or you are taking control over the Wi-Fi without the permission of the actual user. So to actually secure the Wi-Fi networks, three different types of Wi-Fi securities are given or we can say the Wi-Fi encryption. The first one is WEP, which was launched firstly. WEP is short for Wired Equivalent Privacy. It was easiest to hack and can be hacked within few minutes. So because of this, they launched another security after this, which is WPA and WPA2. So WPA is short for wireless protected access and WPA2 is the advanced version of the WPA so they are the best in terms of security and they can't be hacked easily but another thing comes and that is WPS WPS is wireless networking standard that tries to make connections between the router and the wireless devices faster and easier for example when we connect our printer to the wireless network so WPS is like made to uh, like make the connection between the router and the devices easier WPS is short for wireless protected setup so when any router is connected to the WPS network along with WPA and WPA2 then it can be easily hacked so Wi-Fi hacking actually works in the manner suppose we are like trying to hack a Wi-Fi network which is using the WPA along with the WPS setup then the device which you are using for example our mobile phone or computer then tries to guess the passwords so when the WPS is enabled in any router then it is easiest to hack as it is easier to like guess the password of that router so previously the Wi-Fi password hacking was only able to do in the Linux based operating systems but nowadays you can also do it in the Android phones because Android is also the Linux based now the question arises how to hack the Wi-Fi password using our Android phones so in the Play Store you'll find a lot of applications which can actually promise you to hack the Wi-Fi password I have tested all of them and I believe that there is only one application which is so accurate and which is so good which can be used to hack the Wi-Fi seriously and accurately and that is Wi-Fi WPS WPA tester now talking about this application this application is free on the Play Store you can install it the link is given in the description so this application actually requires the root access in your Android phone but without root you can actually use it but several functionalities will not work so this application works in the same manner that I talked in this video that it generates the server passwords random passwords uh, like depending upon the Wi-Fi router the type of router the connection and then you can actually set up for like you can use them the randomly generated passwords and you can connect or you can say you can hack the Wi-Fi router so as you can see the different networks are showing up here so I'll click to the WPS only then rescan it okay so these are the networks which I can easily hack or try to hack them so let me skip this rescan 
As you can see, there is option which shows WP as old. That means when you take this, then the hair cable, that means the WPS connections only will show up. So as you can see, there are different colors that is yellow, red and no color. So actually there are three colors which are yellow, green and red. The red means that you can't easily access the Wi-Fi. The yellow color means that the security is medium and the green color is the Wi-Fi is actually so easy to hack. So these like uh, tell us the uh, security level of the Wi-Fi is. So that was all for today's video. If you have any queries or suggestions, please comment down below. Let me know and see you in the next video.